Hi guys. Yeah, for once I'm doing a vlog during the day. I hope you can hear me okay. Um, but yeah, I was just pacing up and down on my um, on my deck here and thinking about um, why it is that well, I'm trying to clean up the house at the moment, and I was trying to figure out why it is that Sam says what he says. Like this is my way of overcoming OCD is to basically pace up and down and I tend to think out loud with it and it's just an easy thing to do and I kind of came up with an analogy and the moment that I came up with that analogy I thought hang on this is like the perfect opportunity to grab the camera and vlog this like I need to vlog these moments I'm not in the middle of anxiety right now I was a moment ago with putting the washing in and what I discovered was um, I kept on picking up the pile of washing and taking it to the washing machine um, and every time I picked it up uh, Sam would say oh you think this bad thought about your friends you think that bad thought about your friends or you don't care about your friends and if I tried to be you know mellow about it and be like no I'm just gonna put it in the washing machine oh so you don't care about your friends then you won't even think about them so therefore you don't even care about them um, which is obviously not true so what I ended up doing, which is the wrong thing, is to pick up the washing with happy thoughts about my friends. Like, think about how much I love my friends. And then, of course, the moment I'd pick it up, it's like, oh, slit your friend's throat, you know, it's crap like that. And I was like, no, not true, you know, try to fight it, try to fight it, and so it just wouldn't work. But coming out here and thinking about it, you know, pondering it over, I realised, um, I'm doing it wrong. Just as my psychologist told me, I'm doing it wrong, where I shouldn't be battling with Sam over what I think about my friends. I should be ignoring him completely. Um, and when I say ignore, I mean like, don't even think about your friends to begin with. Like that's not normal. It's not normal to pick something up and think about how much you love your friends. I mean, obviously every now and then, you know, once in a while you might think, oh, I love my friends, you know, they mean so much to me. But no one thinks about that every day, and certainly no one thinks about it when they're picking stuff up off the floor or something like that. No one does it. That's not normal. It's normal to love your friends. It's not normal to, um, every few seconds, think about how much you love your friends, um, to negate, you know, the voice in your head saying, oh, you don't love your friends, or you want to do this harmful thing to them. Nobody does that. Because that's what he does. He says, oh, you want to slit your friend's, friend's throat. It's like, no, I don't. I love them. Um, what I should be doing is just thinking about the task at hand. And yes, I used to do this. Think about the task at hand. And um, I mean, the task at hand is, right, I'm picking up the washing now. I'm putting in the washing machine now. I'm pressing the button now. What do most people do? I mean, some, I, mean I know most people are on autopilot, but my autopilot almost doesn't exist anymore my only autopilot that exists now is when I'm driving thankfully I mean that's why I'm able to keep my license is because it doesn't affect my driving it affects my the use of my car like it affects the starting up of the car and things like that like things that affect me and not anyone else but um, I don't autopilot those things anymore like I don't think right I need to do a lot of washing I think I need to do a lot of washing right now that I'm I'm getting up now I need to think about my friends and how much I love them. You know, that, that's the first thing that occurs to me. And that shouldn't be what occurs to me. I should be just be like, right, that needs doing, so let's go do it. Because that's what I used to do, and that's what everyone else does. Um, I mean, when I go to have a shower, I don't think anymore of, right, well, I'm going to get in there, you know, wash off, and then get the hell out of there. No, I think about each step that I take, and, oh no, what's Sam going to say this time? What's he going to say about this step? Um, so it's really frustrating because it's, it's been happening for quite a while. It's been happening for a, at least six months now, it's been like this, where, you know, I don't think of the task at hand. I immediately, instinctively, um, think about negating what Sam is going to say or what he is saying. And when it comes to the ignoring part, I wanted to, um, for example, if he says to me, uh, you know, slitting all the soda or something like that. 
I wanted to walk away from it, and I've tried a few times already to just walk away from it. It's like, that's not true, that's not true, he's full of shit. But it's just so fucking hard. Because it's such a horrible, horrible thought, um, I, I can't walk away from it. It's like someone saying, it's like someone yelling out, you think your sister's a bitch. I'm, I mean, yeah, it's one thing to just walk away from that, but your instinct is going to be to turn around and say, fuck you, I do not. You know, you want to negate it. You want to prove to that person that they're not right, that what they just said is incredibly wrong. So when he says, you know, you want to slit Nella's throat, immediately I want to say, no, I don't. That's fucking disgraceful. That's, that's sick in the head, dude. I, why would I want to do that? That's fucked up. So you can uh, you can probably understand how why this why it's really hard to just turn around and say nope he's full of shit I'm ignoring him because let's face it we're dealing with I guess you could say <laughs> a psychopath except it's not a real person it's you know the voice in my head um, we're dealing with someone who um, says ridiculously outrageous things and even when I told Bobby about them. Um, like I told him about the whole, you know, about some sexual things, as you know, some, some bad sexual thoughts that Sam does. And he's like, whoa, man. And he's like, and he smiled and said, whoa, that's fucked up. I'm like, yeah, that's why I didn't want to tell you. But yeah, that's some of the thoughts that I had. Um, but then I said, oh, that's not the worst of it. Because what Sam does is he picks on, you know, the worst things. And sometimes he'll be like, oh, sex with your sister. You want to have sex with your sister. Or you have sex with your mum. You know, things like that. And it's like, what the fuck? You know, grosses me out completely sort of thing. He does that, and Bobby was surprised, and I was like, well, it doesn't surprise me that you're surprised. Um, but that's just the tip of the iceberg, because he'll say much worse stuff than that. And I've said to Bobby, ah, oh, it gets worse than that, it gets way worse than that. And he's like, what, like murder and killing? I'm like, yep. He's like, whoa, I'm like, yep. And that's what I said. I knew you'd be surprised, but that's, that's what it is. And that's why it's so hard to talk about. Because the threats are so um, violent, they're so well, homicidal, I guess you could say. Um, and I, I, mean, I, I think it's good that um, that my OCD has a name, because I can put a name to this thing. Otherwise, I'd probably be like, oh, I'm, I'm having homicidal thoughts, but I wouldn't actually ever do it, because obviously I wouldn't. Um, it's easier to say no, this. Um, this thing in my head, this voice in my head is saying uh, you totally want to do this and, and he's basically blaming me for it when in the end obviously it's you know, none of it's true whatsoever and I mean half the time when when it really really gets bad I end up in tears um, which uh, brings me to another thing actually I just remembered uh, there's a song by Soilwork, um, The Wind Blows, I think it's called. Um, anyway, I don't know, wait a minute, it's either Whispers and Light or Wind Blows or something like that. Anyway, there's a line in it where he says, um, The wind blows, whispers of doom, I'm in tears. When I, I mean, I've always loved the um, background melody. I don't know why, but the background melody has always, you know, kind of made me tear up a bit because it's just so beautiful. But then when I heard the lyrics, I was like, holy fuck, sometimes I really do feel like that. Sometimes it really does feel like uh, the wind blows whispers of doom. It's like I'm, I'm feeling um, like Sam's whispering horrible things in my ear. And, you know, that's, that's the doom. The horrible things is the doom. Um, and I will sometimes, yeah, I'll end up in tears. I mean, yeah, it's fucking horrible, but it's true. And... Um, one thing I wanted to keep from you guys, but I might as well mention it because it's on my mind now, is I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos the other day and I came across that, that um, song, Happy. I can't remember who the artist is, but I came across that. And I was like, oh, because I'm happy. And I sat there going, I'm anything but at the moment. Like, I'm miserable with my OCD. So from that, I ended up, you know, going to bed, having a bit of a cute goo a bit of a cry felt felt a bit better but yeah just pacing up and down here outside I just thought I'd share all that with you because it's it's not quite in the moment of the rituals but it almost is so 
yeah, and uh, I need to clean up the house from my folks coming to my, which is going to be a pain in the neck. But I have to do it. And when I started to do it, I was like, ah, oh, crap, here we go. Why does Sam say this stuff? Anyway, yeah, I wanted to uh, make a note that, yeah, I try and fucking know it's hard. But uh, today is the first day of spring here in Australia, and not looking too bad outside. Uh, <laughs> I'm just loving the weather. weather weather's going to get warmer from now on, so that's fantastic. Um, yeah, I'll, um, I mean, if anything more comes to mind or if anything else happens or after cleaning up, I might update this vlog. I, I don't know. I really don't know. But, um, yeah, for now, I need to get to the cleaning. So, yeah, catch you guys later. Yeah.